everyone. Um, it's cold out here, below freezing. I don't know if it's gonna get above freezing today. Uh, it's the shortest day of the year. Yeah. We're out here in Northern Nevada looking for meteorites. Yeah, let's see what we can find. <laughs> slogging through this stuff and Krista on the one side. Thought it looked good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, so that's that looks like maybe a more recent break than most. All right. And it's a little fragment, so maybe we should poke around, around here. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, got some rocks to go through. All right. All right, so we looked around for the rest of the little fragment that I just found. Didn't see anything on this berm, but that seems to be pretty normal when they break up here. The pieces tend to uh, go somewhere else. So got the GPS, gonna tag it, and then move on, take a look for some other pieces before dark. Hopefully we find something. This is a piece off of a L or low iron chondrite. It's got a nice bit of crust on the front side, but is really just a chip off of a bigger stone. All right, well, you can see I just crossed the uh, moat there, came over here, and I already hit with a cane, unfortunately. <clears throat> this is pretty small. Oh. It's crusted. A little bit of a crusted fragment there. So, meteorite. Yeah, yeah, he went in like that. And he's in a road. That was pretty cool. Hey, which, uh, that's him right there. Yeah. That was pretty cool. 
All right, yeah, Chris is coming over. All right, Jason just got one. Just went back to the car to grab the GPS for him. Go over and see what he's got. Slippery. Not as mushy as yesterday, but still pretty mushy. Actually, right over there, where that pile is, is where I found my one yesterday. It was just, just over there. Let's see what you got. Let me see if I can navigate. Ooh -wee. All right. <laughs> Little guy. Little crusty fragment. Look at him. Yeah. Cutie patootie. Right there. All right, cool. We'll keep at it. So this is another small fragment of that elk we've been finding out here. Um, the front side has some decent fusion crust, and you can see there's actually a faint orangish chondral kind of visible in the middle of the stone. And the back is just pretty typical broken sides. Starting to snow here, actually. The flake just went past me. Uh, I'll see. Hey. The clouds and snow are so thick it's getting hard to see much except light and dark, but we're gonna hunt it out for another half hour or so, I think. Pretty dark. Looks light over there. Yeah, definitely snowing a bit. Pretty neat. All right. So, things have changed out here a little bit. Had some clouds move in, it's starting to snow. We should have a little bit more time today, but the weather's not really cooperating. We're getting snowed out. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's not enough to make the lake bed squishy or anything, but it's hard to see. It's too dark and Everything's getting covered in ice, so we're gonna head out. Uh. Alright, All right, so made it back to the car, heading off the lake, just in time too, because it's coming down pretty heavy now. We both found one meteorite each today, which is not the best for us for this lake, but 
was a short day today and conditions were pretty hard so I have to come back in the summer and see if we can't do better that time so, but anyway we'll uh, get some photos of what we found once we've cleaned them up and gotten them home and until next time thanks for watching <laughs> All right, so it was a pretty rough day, but we still managed to eke out some meteorites. Um, these do look to be paired with each other. They are very similar alchondrites. Um, you can see the crust texture is really similar. They actually both have those kind of same orangish chondrules poking through the crust. Uh, they're almost certainly paired. Uh, but I've got to say this was still a pretty cool trip because it was really eerie being out on the lake bed with the horizon completely gone in all directions and just this weird silence that the snow kind of made. It was really cool. Yeah.